up you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is izzy and i'm currently in girona spain it is the first day of another trek travel bike trip if you missed it last year i went on a trip through mallorca with my family with trek travel it's like a five-day bike trip that you stop at different hotels and different places um, throughout the trip and you do like a bunch of biking every day i'll get more into it in detail in a bit but we were just about to head out and meet up with our tour group we spent the last couple nights in girona in this really cute Airbnb just like exploring the town. It's adorable here, very like picturesque. And we are gonna be biking through Costa Brava for the next few days, which is like this region of Spain that's like along the coast. It looks so beautiful, I can't wait to jump in the ocean. Um, and then we're spending a couple nights in Barcelona at the end of the trip. Um, but for now, we're heading out to meet up with the group. We're doing lunch today, I think, and then we're biking to our first hotel for the trip. So let's get to it. Okay, we just made it to our little lunch spot. It's so cute. O M G. We got these like potatoes. Wow, serenade. These potatoes are like just like really thinly sliced between somewhere between like a potato chip and a fry. <laughs> so yummy. It smells so good. This is gluten free. It's got mortadella. I think it's ricotta and then pistachios on the top. Mm. Hot diggity damn. <laughs> oh, the Birkenstocks just really wearing? makes it. Let's give us an outfit breakdown. <laughs> you look a little full. <laughs> Alright, it's time to get changed to red. These are our outfits of the day. Butt pattern applied. <laughs> and we're ready to rumble. That's a lot of leg. Whole squad is dressed, <laughs> fitted to their bikes, and ready to rumble. Okay, I haven't been able to vlog very much because it's hard to hold my phone, or I mean my camera, while I'm riding. I don't know what's going on over there. Um, we just stopped because I got a flat tire, which has never happened to me before on a trek trip, but this back tire just all of a sudden went flat and I was able to pull over so it was fine. I don't know what, what in the hell? <laughs> to get the flies off. Yeah, the flies are so bad here, it's really gross. But um, we're just waiting for one of the bike instructor people Flat so that they tire. can come change my tire. Kara's on an e-bike. Show us your, show us your big wheel. You gotta get me going up the Hot wheels. Oh my god, she was going up a hill and she just went flying past all of us. And she just yells, she's like, gotta see what this thing can do! It was like there was like flames coming out of the back of it. It was so fast. <laughs> okay, we made it to the first hotel. Hi. We're having a quick cider um, at the finish line, and our hotel looks so nice. I'm excited to go check it out. Okay, we're just checking into our room. Look at how nice it is. This bathroom is stunning. Wow. Thank you for that visual. Oh, I didn't realize you were <laughs> This bed looks so lush. I'm so excited. We have like a whole couch, luggage delivered. Mm, whoa, this looks nice. Love this. We're next to our neighbors with Stephanie. <laughs> we sh I think we should just cut a hole through these yeah. bushes. Like, let's just cut a big a hole, a passageway. And then my parents are on the other side over there. Yeah, let's go to the pool. By the way, this hotel is called Mas de Torrent. Probably saying that wrong, but it's stunning. And we're here for two nights. The pool looks really pretty, so we're gonna go check that out now. And apparently they have really good, uh, really good spa here too. So maybe we'll check that out as well. We're having dinner here tonight too. All right, swimsuit is on. We're ready to hit the pool. This is the service button to order drinks. <laughs> we pushed the service button and this appeared. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> The button over there, yeah, I pushed it. It says like press for service and then he came and I ordered. All right, 
Kara and I just got changed for dinner and we're wearing opposites. I'm doing black shoes, she has red shoes, and then I'm in red and she's in black. And we kind of missed the sunset, but that's okay. It's still, it's, our resort's so stunning. Can't even see it, my thing just went blurry. And then look at the sunset back there. It's very beautiful. And it's so quiet here, it's like so peaceful. It's so peaceful. It's like I'm we're so in the relaxed. middle of nowhere. I know, I can't, I'm not, can't pinpoint where we are. Yeah. <laughs> We just climbed up to the top floor because I saw the chandelier up here, so I wanted to see what it was. And look at my, let me just show you my POV right now. The view is amazing. <laughs> Little Kara. <laughs> this is our happy hour location of the evening. We just finished having happy hour and now we're heading in for dinner. This is our menu for tonight. Dinner is served. I'm having the sea bass. Everyone else got the tenderloin frog. Okay, we just got back from dinner. The food was so good. Just changing to my PJs. Food was literally bomb. I had sea bass. Chris had like some kind of beef tenderloin thing. Veal beef tenderloin? Veal. With foie gras. It's pretty much beef. What? It's pretty much beef. Come in! Get on in! Come on in! Karen and Steph are coming over. Then we just had a little nightcap in the lobby of the hotel. I had an Aperol spritz that was really good. It had like a foam in the top, which I took a video of. And now all the guys are coming over. My dad just got here to watch football with Chris and my brother's coming over too. Mm -hmm. And me and Kara are just gonna probably hang out and watch TikToks in our big comfy bed. We're all staying next door to each other. So my mom and dad are on that side and then obviously you saw Kara and my brother on the other side. So it's a big family fun slumber party, which is great. And everyone else on our tour seems really nice too. There's like 23 of us total on this Trek travel trip and everyone seems super nice. Oh, so many people from Michigan randomly. There's like 10 of them from Michigan, six of us. And then there's a bunch of other people we're also, there's a couple from Ottawa, and then I think two or three other ones from other where in, like other places in um, the US somewhere. So anyway, very Canadian US trip this year. Okay, just jumped in bed. This is definitely, I've been, if you missed the last two vlogs, I've been in Europe now for, what day is it, Sunday? Two weeks today, I've been in Europe, and this is the comfiest bed that I've slept in so far. I was in Ibiza before this and then Paris before that and no, nothing compares, nothing compares. So I'm gonna sleep so good tonight. Tomorrow's day two of the bike trip. Um, we're staying at the same hotel tomorrow night. I forgot exactly what we have planned but I'll update you as we go. So I'm gonna go to sleep because we have a decently early wake up call tomorrow. So we'll see you then. Good morning you guys. We're just getting ready for day two of biking today We're gonna go grab some breakfast quickly and then we have to go meet everybody at the bikes at 9 30 Today's a longer ride. It's like closer to 50 k's. Yesterday was like 37 I think today's 47. We have like a coffee stop. We have a lunch stop that's like on the beach apparently um, And I think we can go swimming in the ocean. So I'm packing a swimsuit and it's really really beautiful outside already so I think it's gonna be a really fun day this is my breakfast of choice today I'm having a little hard boiled egg some chia pudding and some green juice and of course a cortado jersey of the day today we are going with this bright yellow I have my hair in a little braid today it's actually kind of falling out already Chris show me your jersey jersey of the day Chris done in <laughs> okay we made it to our coffee break spot it's actually the same place we had lunch yesterday and we're at kilometer 29 now um so we're more than halfway done for the day Stiff. Stiff. <laughs> So cute! Mine's the cutest. Just saying. Oh, I am? Thank you. No, not you. <laughs> it's never too early. 11 a.m. First beer. Oh, spills. Meanwhile, I'm having my second cortado. We had our little coffee break, and Chris is Heineken. And now we're just going for a walk through this town. It's called Pals. And it's supposed to be really pretty. It looks really pretty, but 
apparently it's worth seeing, so we're gonna go walk through it. Oh, it's really pretty. Corn on the cob. <laughs> Wait, they have voodoo dolls? <laughs> oh my god, that's so creepy. Here's you. Oh, I'm cute at least. Here's Chris. <laughs> oh and here's me, brown hair. Aww. This is the cutest gelato store I've ever seen. Look at the inside. It's got like a little courtyard at the back. So cute. I'm so glad we just walked through that town. It was like probably top five cutest towns I've ever seen. Again, it was called Pals, P-A-L-S. Um, definitely recommend stopping in if you're ever in this area. We're just heading back to the bikes now. We have, I think 18 more Ks left to go until lunch. I thought 47 was the whole ride for the day, but that's just the ride until lunch. And then I think like, depending on how much you wanna bike after lunch, there's like a few different options for distances and hill climbs and stuff so we'll just see how we're feeling but i know we're having paella for lunch and i'm so excited made it to our lunch spot that was a lot hillier than this morning but i wanted to show you the view it's so pretty <gasps> look at the color oh my gosh Lunch at that place was so good. It was called Fuego, I think, which we all know what that means. Fire. <laughs> we're all like, we have 16 more kilometers to ride and we're all like walking around in so much pain already. I don't want to sit back on the seat. That's like the hardest part. Are you good? <laughs> we're all gonna be like geriatric after today. <laughs> But we have to go bike back to the hotel now. And then we have the evening off and I think we're doing a walking tour in like another cute little medieval town this evening and then having dinner there. Oh my God, that was terrible. We just started an absolute hill from hell. I have a nice view. I just ate too much, I feel sick. We had lunch like way over there. All right, we survived day two. It was like 65, maybe 68K today, I forget exactly, but I just had like the best shower ever. Um, and I'm gonna go lay by the pool for a little bit before we have to get ready for dinner. It looks like I got a little bit of sun on my nose today. I even put sunscreen only on my nose. Look, it's a little bit burnt. Oopsies. This is tonight's outfit. I'm wearing this little set from Rumored. I'm carrying my shoes because we're about to go on a walking tour of this really pretty little town that's behind me. Here's like one of the churches. Um, we left the walking tour for a hot minute to go take some photos, but we're gonna go catch up with them after. And then we're having dinner in this town as well, but such a pretty, pretty sunset. <music> First course? No show. Ceviche. Next course, Patas Bravas. These are the prettiest ones I've seen so far since we've been in Spain. Next course, we're having octopus. And the non gluten free people are having codfish. I really want one of your peppers. Okay, we're back from dinner. I'm so tired. I'm just gonna start taking off my makeup and getting ready for bed. We have a bit of a sleep in tomorrow, which we're really excited about. And then we're kind of packing up and getting our bags ready to go because when we ride tomorrow we end up at a different hotel and that's our hotel for the next three nights and it's by the ocean which I'm so excited about. We're stopping at a winery tomorrow which is going to be really fun also so there's a chance depending on how much wine we have we might not be riding in the afternoon because I think we're having like lunch at the winery and then doing a wine tasting so it could be interesting to be fun. Dinner tonight was so good that little town was really cute. I'm gonna put the name of it below because I cannot remember it right now and I also am not great at pronouncing it. Um, but that restaurant was delish and it was like family owned and the couple was really sweet, so highly recommend. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna get ready for bed, sleep in, 
and then repeat tomorrow um, and can't wait to bring you guys along so we'll see you then good night good morning it is bike trip day three today we just finished packing up our room we just like put all of our suitcases out the track team like takes them um, and transports them to the next hotel while we ride today so when we get there all of our luggage will be there which is awesome um, we're going to a winery for lunch today and then apparently the ride after the winery is not that great so our guide literally recommended that we do a lot of wine tasting and get drunk at the winery essentially and then just taxi back to the hotel so we'll see how today goes excited for day three mate pumped no no words <laughs> Really beautiful. You're going through the pine trees. You're winding around these kind of like gentle switchbacks. Made it to the first snack stop. We made it to this winery. We're all sweaty. This is probably that was probably it for the day. It's beautiful. Grab, you can do it with me if you want. Grab a clove of garlic. And now you grab the garlic. Stefan, let me have garlic. On the toast. <laughs> if you really like garlic, fingers. you can Cut it. give it a lot of garlic. Mm -hmm. It's the tomato. I can smell the garlic. It smells so good. Tomato, we don't cut it this way. If you cut it this way, <laughs> jail. you're going to Catalan jail with Chris. <laughs> <laughs> you always cut it this way. Okay? Okay. Yeah, I cut it the other way. And now you basically just rub the tomato. Oh wow! Oh, yeah, that's cool. Oh. Chris did it wrong. <laughs> and you can use the tomato for multiple toasts. Mm. Cool. Uh, this step has specific order. The next step, they don't have any order. But if you put first the tomato, then you can do the garlic. And the last step is salt and olive oil. Oh. We don't do pepper. Chris and now really you can put... Here? A little bit more? Oh, no. no? Thank you. Yeah? I will. My belly's in pain. We just ate enough for like, a family of four. <laughs> Cool. Alright, that was the tour of this winery. Now Kara and I are going to bike back. Yeah. Because she wants to bike. <laughs> I don't want to, but I support my queen. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, I'm going to bike too. <laughs> and uh, pray for us, because we've had a lot of wine, so. Okay, Kara and I survived our journey. The extra 16k, I got another flat tire for some reason. Um, we just checked into our new hotel and it's absolutely stunning. It's breathtaking. It's right on the ocean. Um, so I'm going to give you a little room tour. Okay, so I just walked in here. Um, the bed looks super comfy once again. And then look at this. Like, excuse me? There's ocean that way, but then there's like a really pretty beach like around that corner. That's the way we came in on our bikes. And this looks like it's straight out of an absolute fairy tale. Kara and I are just sitting by the pool, having a quick uproll spritz, and our view is so pretty. They brought us some olives too, which are also delicious. This is our POV. Good morning, you guys. I did not vlog at all last night. I was the worst. I just, we went for dinner. We went to this like amazing sushi place. I'm gonna put the name down so that you can go there if you're ever in this area because it was unreal. It was like some of the best sushi we've ever had. Um, but didn't pick up my camera once, took no stories. It was kind of nice, honestly, to just disconnect for a bit. Um, went to bed early and we are going on a boat today. We're going sailing, we're not going on the bike, which is so nice because our butts are very sore and they need a break. So we're back to biking tomorrow, but for today we just get to lounge on a sail.
<laughs> okay, we just got back from the boat, which was really nice. It was like a big old 1920s ship. We like went out, they served us lunch, floated around, swam in the ocean. Um, and then we came back and we just went to the little supermarket to get some drinks to have at the beach and look what we found <laughs> It was like fill your own jug of wine. We got rosé um, Yeah, three euros for two liters of wine. <laughs> So that's what we're doing this afternoon. Chris is living his best life in his bucket hat Yeah Okay, we are back from the beach. I'm just putting the finishing touches on, getting ready for dinner. Getting ready a little bit early so that I can maybe take some photos tonight because I took none yesterday. The beach is so relaxing. I actually fully fell asleep. I took like a anti-nausea, like motion sickness tablet before getting on the boat. So I felt like even though it was the non-drowsy one, I still felt like so tired from it after. So. Had a little nap on the beach, had a little glass of wine, and now I am ready for the evening. Feeling refreshed, recharged. Honestly, just like today was so relaxing. After Paris and like Ibiza, it was just like so full on. So it's just been really nice to relax a little bit. Um, and it was nice to have a day off the bike today because my legs and butt are like very sore. So. It's just been a really nice day, and I haven't been the best at vlogging, but it's just hard I'm trying to spend quality time with the family. But yeah, it's another perfect sunset. We're probably gonna go hang out on the balcony until dinner time. We are having dinner at a resort tonight. The restaurant's called Candlelight. It looks kind of, I think it has like a Michelin star, so it's probably gonna be really good. Um, so we'll see. It looks really cute in there too, so. What's the plan for this evening? And this is the outfit. I actually wore this dress in Ibiza. It's like strapless the front, but then it's got this like open back kind of fun detailing. I definitely got lots of color today, which I'm very happy about. All right, we're going to dinner. Um, you guys already saw what I'm wearing, but Chris just changed into his outfit for the evening and he's literally also wearing Dang. olive green and black accessories because we're never not matching. Squat out. We're going to dinner at the Candlelit Restaurant to get at romantic. this resort. Get romantic tonight. Wait, this way, right? Yeah. We may or may not have had a couple of Afros spritzes. Look at how tan we look. We got so much color today. We look, we look a little red. We look a little healthy. No, it's just this. I have a glow. <laughs> a glow. A Spanish glow. Spanish. Candlelight. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Ooh, look at the cellar. I only showed a video of one course. There was like 17 courses. Eight flavors of butter. Absolutely 10 courses. It was a lot of different courses. Anyways, um, there's all these weird little chairs in our, in our, wait, there's one you can see behind me. There it is. There's all these like chairs in our hallway. <laughs> Brother and Chris are literally sitting in all of them. Wait, let me show you. <laughs> Obviously, you can tell from my neon jersey. I think it's a bit of a longer ride today, and we're going along the coastline. It was pretty much where we sailed yesterday, so it should be really pretty. Um, and then tonight, we're back at this hotel and eating at a restaurant on the beach. top of the clan. We did an extra 5k up this like steep thing so we get to go back down. We got to go all the way back down that 5k of hills and it was such a pretty view. Here comes Steph or here come um, Chris and Kara. Speedy Gonzalez! It's me! <laughs> There's my dad. 
in this cute little wine jersey. Mini Babs. Oh my God, there's Kristoff. <laughs> That's where we were on the catamaran. I mean the pirate ship yesterday. <laughs> Look at the color of the water today. Okay, we just finished the first half of the ride today. We're in a town called Tassa de, Tassa de Mar and it's so pretty. There's like this big castle at one end um, and it's guest choice lunch today. So we're eating lunch just wherever we so choose. Yeah, this, there's like this old town. Hang on, I'm gonna show you. Look at the castle. Yeah, you could see it on the way down. Spanish hamburger, Spanish aged cow hamburger. Yum. Salad, I don't even know what that is. It looks like brie. Mom and dad got black squid. Squid ink, paella? Squid ink, yeah. Oh, so good. We just finished our lunch in this really cute little town. The beach is so nice. I wish we could honestly lay down for a bit, but we have a 26K bike back to the hotel. And then we have the dinner by the beach tonight, which I'm also looking forward to. Um, but yeah, it's been such a nice ride. All the views on the whole time. It's definitely been the best day of riding so far. That's the town we just had lunch. We just biked up our first mega hill. <laughs> We made it! We got a celebratory cider for two each. And we're done biking for an entire trip. What did we do today? 62 Ks? Yeah, think about that. Our legs are toyos, but we're gonna go hit the pool now. And then we have social hour and dinner at seven. Okay, we got back. I hung out by the pool for a bit, had like maybe the best shower of my life. Chris had a nap and then we just got changed. This is my outfit of the night it's just from zara but i think it's really cute it's like this asymmetric hem top and then matching pants it's really comfy it feels like i'm wearing sweatpants which is always the dream um we're heading down now to the lobby to do like social hour with everybody and then the dinner is like a five minute walk down like on the beach tonight and it's apparently a seafood restaurant so i'm sure the food will be bomb and i'm very excited just enjoying another stunning sunset from our balcony. I'm gonna miss this view. It's our last night here tonight. Good morning, except for it's not the morning, it's the afternoon. We are in Barcelona now. Um, we took a bus here this morning. Um, so it was our, the, the, yesterday was the last day of the bike trip. I mean, some people biked this morning, but we didn't, we slept in. And now we're here and we're spending the weekend in Barcelona. We're staying at this hotel behind me called Hotel Colón and it's right by the cathedral. That's right behind me too. It's really pretty. So we're just gonna spend the day kind of exploring and then I think tomorrow we're gonna go to Sagrada Familia and Park Well. Probably saying it wrong, but. Curry, we decided to stop at this place. It's Mexican food. It looked really good. We were craving it. So we're having some marks and some Mexican. Yeah. All right, this is our fajita tower. <laughs> okay, lunch was so good. Mexican food really hit the spot today. What was the name of it? Um, Cabel, Cabarella? Carabella. Okay. Yeah, Me good Mexican food. Good uh, margaritas. We had the tamarindo one and it was do you like it? Yeah. I, I liked mine. Yeah. No one else liked ours. Yeah, <laughs> except us. And that's all that matters. Yeah. Just got back to the hotel and I need to show you the view from our room. We're right across the street from the cathedral like I showed before, but it's such a nice view. All right, we're out for dinner. We were just walking around, um, checking out the main street, and we went to that really cool like farmer's market, and now we're just having some tapas for a late dinner. It's like almost 10 p.m. Um, and yeah, then we're going to go to bed. Have an easy time. Okay, we're back from dinner, just getting ready for bed. It's like almost 11. Um, I think we might just like watch a movie and go to bed early. We drank way less today. I feel like I had a couple too many glasses of wine last night because they just kept refilling them at the restaurant. So I was feeling pretty 
tired and a little bit dusty this morning, so I'm not doing that again tonight. Tomorrow we're gonna have a very full day in Barcelona, just like walking around everywhere. I really wanna go see some of the like famous monuments and stuff and maybe do a little bit of shopping. But yeah, we have a full day planned, so we're gonna have an early start. Um, so we'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, you guys. It's Saturday today. We're out and about. This is my little outfit of the day. I'm wearing boots. It's a little cloudier today, but it's still really hot, so it feels like summer. Um, and we're out exploring, and we just got to Sagrada Familia. We took the train here. Um, and it's like the craziest church I've ever seen, obviously. Let me show you. They're still building it since the 1800s. absolutely wild. This is the view from the front side, which I think is the coolest so far. So mom and I split off from the pack. We're just having a little lunch date, having salads and wine. And we just went into the Celine store and she bought the same glasses that I bought in Paris. She's wearing them. Show us your new glasses. Stunning. We're twins. <laughs> And I are still out shopping. She's done very well. I haven't bought anything, so I'm being good. Um, we're just heading back towards the hotel to go meet up with the rest of the crew for happy hour. Um, and I think I might change because I'm kind of sweating in this jacket. And then we'll probably head for dinner. All right, quick outfit change for me anyways. And we're headed to dinner. We just had a little cocktail in the lobby bar downstairs. I'm wearing this like Zara skirt that I intended to wear in Paris two weeks ago, but never did, so we saved it for Spain. Um, yeah, and we're just gonna go for dinner. I think we're gonna look for an Italian spot because we're all craving pasta. And today's our last day. So we fly home tomorrow. It's my last day of three weeks in Europe. Howdy. <laughs> Are we going for Italian? I, I think so. See. Si. Is that pasta? Ciao. Never had Italian before. We're eating at a restaurant called Luigi's tonight and it's so cute inside and they have GF pasta. Lots of it. Last day of the trip, which means you had to get <laughs> gelato. And they have gluten free cones. It's dad's first gelato ever. <laughs> he said his first was in Girona, but it's full of shit. <laughs> All right, we're home. Well, my brother and Chris are still watching um, a really good game in my brother's room. We tried to go to two, actually like three or four different Irish pubs because there's a rugby game on that the boys wanted to watch, but we couldn't get into any of them because they're all totally full. It is Saturday in Barcelona after all. Um, so we just decided to come back. I'm probably gonna put on some Netflix and maybe do a little bit of work before I go to bed and then we fly home tomorrow. It's been such a fun trip. I feel like I haven't been awesome at vlogging this week. I've just been very much trying to like live in the moment, which I'm not always good at. So it's kind of been nice to actually like have a little bit of a vacation this week. Um, loved Barcelona. It's so busy here. It's actually kind of weird how busy it is because it's October and like I thought it would not be that busy, but this week was absolutely insanely busy. So. Yeah, that was, it was really cool. Really good people watching. We were saying it seems like a young city and like there's so much more to do than we had time to do. I really wanted to go to that park well. Never got there. It was just kind of in like a different part of the city and we just ended up doing like a lot of walking, a lot of shopping, having some patio drinks um, and it was super relaxing and fun. So this concludes my three week Europe trip. I've been in Europe for three weeks today because I was in Paris for eight days and I was in Ibiza for three and then I've been in Spain with my family for nine days or 10. Anyways, I've been here for a long time. It's been so fun. If you missed my Paris Fashion Week vlog and my Ibiza vlog, go watch those because they were so much fun as well. I can't believe this time has like flown by, but it also feels like I've been away from home for so long and I love fall at home. So I am really excited for some colder sweater weather and like fall activities. So that pretty much concludes this vlog. If you guys have any questions about where we stayed or need recommendations for the area or anything, I can do my best to try to give you those. Just leave any comments below. Make sure you follow me on Instagram because I've shot lots of content while I've been here and you don't want to miss that. And subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any other videos. And I hope to see you guys soon. Bye!